Welcome to the Jekyll69 channel where shit is always interesting. Today's date is the 23rd of February 2015 and this is Hits on Twitter. So as we all know the Oscars happened last night and in America it is pretty much the only thing trending on there if you want to see all the nominations and winners along with reviews of many of the films go check out my visual distortion movie review playlist now because on Twitter we have the hashtags of Oscars 2015 Academy Awards Best Picture Best Picture, which was surprisingly enough Birdman, of which I'm so ecstatic about, I really didn't see it winning Best Picture, but fucking get it, it did. We also have Patricia Arquette because she won the Best Supporting Actress in her role as Mum in Boyhood. We also have Julie Andrews as well for hugging Lady Gaga for doing the Sound of Music tribute at last night's Academy Awards. Birdman is obviously up there because it was up for loads of nominees and loads of awards and it, like I said, it won Best Picture, which is such good fucking news, I'm so glad it won, definitely it is one of my top 10 films of all time. Eddie Redmayne is also there because he won the Best Actor for his representation of Stephen Hawking's in the film The Theory of Everything. And moving away from the Oscars, but still staying with celebrities, we have Cat Williams. Loads of people are on Twitter just generally complaining about him, really saying how insane he is and how he was more funny when every other word wasn't a swear word. Something that I definitely agree with there, because I fucking hate when people just keep fucking dropping the fucking F-bomb all the fucking time, fucking dicks. And now moving away from the grounds of celebrities, Oscars and award ceremonies, we unceremoniously go into the world of politics with Jack Straw. He, everybody is up in arms about him at the moment for some more scandal to do with cash and money. He's there just trying to get away with it basically because he did a scheme and was involved in a scheme to do with cash for access and it supposedly he skimmed some money off but he did it in a legal way so nobody can touch him even though he was the person that was involved with all the politicians uh, cutting money and using their expenses wrongly he was the one helping them cover up so maybe it is about time he got retired and stoned yeah? Retired by stoning, and I don't mean the good high type either. There's also Riftkind as well. He was also involved with the cash for access scandal too. So more politicians seem to be under the heat of fire because of all their, well, mismanagement of money, trying to be the richest out there and trying to have it all for themselves when that's not the point of being a politician. The point of being a politician is to actually do your country justice and do your country proud and your people should be looking up to you, not bitching about you on Twitter. And because there is a general election coming up, not only have we had a documentary on Channel 4 about what it would be like if UKIP came into power, but also BBC2 has done a documentary called Meet the UKIPers where they basically paraded around a load of racist, people-hating, warmongering, immigrant-killing racists, pretty much known as UKIP, around the cameras, but in such a way that would make people not vote for them, make people think that they're just all wankers, and make people want to spit on them, even though every politician deserves to be thrown in front of a fucking bus and spat on, and you should just watch him fucking die and bleed out, especially David fucking Cameron and all the other fucking Lib Dem Tories and other cunts out there. I'm not a big fan of English politicians. I think they're motherfucking wankers. Uruguay's president is better than our presidents and they are a third world fucking country with less money and yet the president of Uruguay will give away 90% of his income and live on his farm rather than in the government building and he'd rather legalize weed even though he doesn't believe it should be and he doesn't believe in people smoking weed 
but because the people want it, he's done it. That's the politicians people actually love, not fucking dickhead twats like David fucking Cameron who deserves to have a piece of splintered bottle wood with rusty nails through it jammed in through his fucking face. Don't like the guy. But moving away from politics before I give myself a blood clot we have the hashtag of Ask Ansip. This is Andrus Ansip and he was doing a Q&A session on Twitter where many people were talking to him about a universal currency and being able to shop online easier and better to help out more of the individual businesses and people throughout the entire world rather than just your specific region or country within the world. They want a more universal currency, a bit like Bitcoin, but with less risks and downpours and this was just some of the topics that were on Ask and Sip. And going into the entertainment music business we have the hashtag of Hire Dave and this is all about David Quetta going on to Radio 1 so if you missed it or you haven't caught it yet then check out the Radio 1 website to listen to the interview and everything David Quetta now. And finally for the trends on Twitter, we have RBD Forever, a pop group that seems to be getting back together. I don't really know this pop group band, but it is a worldwide trend, and yet I have no idea what they're talking about. When you go on the worldwide trends of Twitter, you do come across some random shit which you had no idea even existed, and you're left bamboozled about how the fuck this is a worldwide trend. Thank you very much for watching the Jekyll 69 channel where shit is always interesting for the 23rd of February 2015 for Hits on Twitter. This is the Jekyll 69 channel where interesting shit happens every day. So remember to subscribe and comment to our channel for interesting shit to do with the world of technology. Hits on Twitter. Film reviews, my life with Android and Kickstarter. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and comment and until next time, keep your shit interesting.